Financial markets have firmly decided that the European Central Bank and the US Federal Reserve will begin cutting their interest rates in June. Now, the Bank of England is now seen as a bit of a laggard, though even here, the market put the odds on a June cut at 50-50. Now, last week, at the press conference, the president of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, came as close as she ever does to pre-committing to a rate cut several months ahead. Of course, things can change, but she went out of her way to highlight June as the meeting where they might start their cutting process. Now, the US Rate Cutting Committee has many voices, but there has been a consistent message from many that they need to see several months of low inflation to begin cutting rates. And that condition should be met in June. And we think this week's US CPI number will provide support for that view. Now, although the economies of the UK, Europe and the US have many, many differences at the moment, when you look at it from a monetary policy perspective, there's several common factors. First, unemployment is very low. Yes, Friday's data showed an unexpected rise in US unemployment, but at 3.9%, it remains very low. We've got a similar pattern evident in the UK, whilst unemployment in the Eurozone is indeed at a record low. Second, headline inflation is set to fall close to target in each case. If we take the June quarter, the consensus forecast for inflation is 2.2% in the US for their measure, 2.4% in the Eurozone, and 1.8% here in the UK. But there's a third common factor, which is a problem. Wage inflation is too high. Data this week, it should show a significant fall in UK wage inflation, but it's still way in excess of 5%, and that's far too high to be consistent with sustained 2% price inflation. And we had a survey of jobs recently, and that showed a decline, but other data, they're just less comforting. Now, yes, US average hourly earnings, they were weak in last week's data, but that series is distorted and doesn't give us very useful information. The New York Federal Reserve have recently published a timely measure based on a much more accurate index, and that shows that the decline in wage inflation may have stalled. Best guess? Wage inflation in the US is running above 4%, still too high. Not way too high. There's a good chance that this will fall in response to low headline inflation and a somewhat slower economy, but we shall see. Now, the European Central Bank, they are hampered by a paucity of good data on wages in the Eurozone. They've constructed their own measure, and that comes in at 4.5% or so, which again is too high to be consistent with their target. Now, if we put all this together, my guess is that consensus <clears throat> is about right and we will get the first cut in June in Europe and the US, with a, with a reasonable chance the UK joins in too. Now, longer term, and this in a way is more important, short-term interest rates should settle below the numbers put in by the consensus and indeed below market pricing for all three areas. And that represents a good background for both bonds and equities, in my opinion. Let's hope that turns out to be correct. Until next week, goodbye from me.